Transport Phenomena in Biosystem Module 2, Conservation and Momentum, Segment 3, Fluid Statics. With me, Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung. Previously, we have discussed about fluid kinematics and conservation relations. In this segment, we will discuss about fluid statics. Static Equilibrium Although most of the transport problems encountered in bioengineering involve moving fluids, there are some important results under static conditions that are relevant to bioengineers. Under such conditions, the only forces acting on a fluid element are the pressure and gravity. The balance of forces can be expressed by equation 11. Applying this force balance to a cubic control volume as shown in the figure, yields equation 12a to equation 12c. Dividing each of the force balance by a volume element delta x, delta y, and delta z, as well as taking the limits as the volume shrinks to zero and using the definition of derivative, yields differential balances as shown in equation 13a to equation 13c. These equations can be written in vector notation as shown in equation 14. Knowing the distribution of forces in fluid, one can calculate the force of the fluid acting on an arbitrarily shaped body by a uniform column of liquid in equilibrium with air as shown in the figure. Consider that the particle has a density rho and a volume v. The fluid exerts a surface force due to the pressure on the submerged object. The pressure acts normally to the surface at every point. The surface force on the object is the integral of the stress over the surface of the object which can be expressed by equation 15. Since the fluid is static, the product n dot L equals to n, thus the pressure force can be expressed by equation 16. The divergence theorem relates surface and volume integrals as shown in equation 17. Thus, the pressure force can be written as shown in equation 18. Since the pressure is a continuous across the interface between the liquid and the particle, the pressure can be computed by replacing the solid with an equivalent volume of fluid of density rho. Thus, the pressure force can be calculated using equation 19. This pressure force is known as the buoyant force and it is in the direction opposite to the gravity vector. For the next segment, we will discuss about constitutive relations. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.